Welcome back, everybody. It is time now for our favorite segment. It is Grant's Game Changers. It's been a while. It has been a hot minute, but we've got plenty of players to talk about, and it is a fun time of year to talk about some of these guys That's as well. That's right. A hot minute, four minutes to get this going. Let's we'll go it. with your first one, a guy who loves the long ball. He's had a ton of statistics that'll blow you away. Matt Olson's your game changer. Why? And I have collected some of these statistics because <laughs> Matt Olson, this guy right here, is having a career season, and a kind of season home run-wise that nobody in Braves franchise history has had if he maintains his pace, which right now, after 39th home run launched on Sunday, yeah. Puts him on pace for 58 home runs this year. That's newsworthy. 40, 143 RBI pace as well. And this is to go on top of what this team is doing on pace for 315 homers as a group. And the top four in the Braves lineup, of which Matt Olson's a cleanup hitter, has out homered eight other major league teams. And Matt Olson's a big reason why. If he okay. keeps doing what he's doing, he's powering this Braves offense. And the power of this offense is going to be a big key to October glory for this club. He is a big key to this team right now and will be a piece to that hopeful October glory That's coming up in just a couple of months. Okay, let's go to your next game changer. This is a guy we've been waiting on to return. Much anticipated. He's back. He looks better than ever. Max Fried. Why? Yeah, didn't skip a beat. I mean, if anything, he looked as efficient as he's ever looked in a oh, Braves yeah. uniform. He carved up the Chicago Cubs across six scoreless innings, needing just 72 pitches, no walks, eight strikeouts for Max Fried, who just made it look easier than it should have been but you shouldn't be surprised given the work ethic and the confidence that both he and the club had that he would be able to come back and impact this stretch drive he has done it time and again for the Braves he's a Cy Young runner up last year and I know we talked about the trade deadline a lot and what the Braves didn't do but what other club in Major League Baseball had a pitcher like this walking in the same week that you're trying to make a big move Max Fried's return is a huge key for this Braves club he truly is one of the best in baseball. I think he's going to continue to prove that as we get down the stretch and he looks completely yeah. healthy. So that is very positive. Your next one, we're going to stick with pitching, but let's go to the bullpen. This is a guy who's been consistent. Throw away what happened today. Okay, but Joe Jimenez has been fantastic. Why is he your game changer? Now, consistent doesn't necessarily mean perfect, as right. we know. They are going to give up <laughs> runs. And I got right. bad news here. We got, what, 53 games left. The Braves are going to lose again before the season's yep. over. But <laughs> Joe Jimenez has helped him do the an shame. awful lot of winning over the last couple of months and he has looked like the guy that they traded for not at the deadline but over the winter to solidify the back end of the bullpen since the end of May he has lowered his ERA from 486 where it was hovering right before June down to 2.70 with, with just some great pitching over his last 23 appearances, just yeah. over a one ERA. The walks are gone. The strikeouts are up. He's not giving up many hits. I mean, again, he's going to, at times, not be able to do the job every single time because that's just baseball. That's just <laughs> life. But this is a guy who's a key to the Braves being able to get the important outs to get to Rice Hill Iglesias to close out games in August and September and in October. It's been impressive, especially on an aspect of a team that's needed some help with some injuries right now. Your last game changer. This is a guy who had a rehab start this weekend. I was interested by this one. Why is he your game changer? Dylan Lee. Yeah, Dylan Lee is somebody who was so key to the Braves success a year ago and was very much a part of the Braves bullpen usage the first month and a half. And then yeah. we saw him land on the injured list with that shoulder inflammation. But this is somebody that backs up AJ Minter as a solid left handed option. They went and got Brad Hand, so now they could have three lefties in the bullpen that'll be a big deal but Dylan Lee has very quietly carved out a very important role to get some Braves outs an important outs for the Braves I should say mm -hmm. in the middle innings and they've been missing that for a while his consistency would go a long way towards shoring up the final six weeks of the year and helping them have the bullpen they want in October whatever we want to call it night shift night shift 2.0 <laughs> I don't know, but Dylan Lee should be a part of that group. <laughs> we're going to need a new name, I think. I, I guess can't so. believe we're talking about October. Grant, thank you. Beautiful job, as Thanks. always. And, guys, we'll be right back for our video of the week. We got fists flying everywhere. Take a guess as to what that is.